I want to talk about this East Digital Power Inverter Charger. Basically, front panel we have on off switch, then we have some LED indicators. They actually mean several different things depending on whether they're flashing and which ones are on. But basically, um, it tells you about the operation of the whole thing. On the back, you can see we've got two universal sockets. Um, there's connections to a battery, positive and negative, and mains lead. These two universal sockets um, have a bit of a problem from a UK point of view. Here's a UK plug, you plug into the top one. As you can see, you couldn't get a UK plug in the bottom one. Uh, for the purposes of this test, we're using a, a continental Shuko plug for the other thing. Over here, we've got um, DIN switches. Basically, these set the rate of charge of the inverter charger. So it depends on what kind of battery you've got, how quickly and fiercely you want it to charge. And we have two reset buttons, one for charger, one for load. What we're going to do here today is connect the inverter charger up to a battery. See the battery in the background there. And we're going to power that computer with the battery. So basically, the inverter charger will be connected to the mains, the battery, and the computer, as you already saw, is plugged into the inverter charger. So when the mains is on, the computer will be powered by the mains through the inverter charger. And then we're going to simulate a power cut and show you how quickly it all switches over. So first of all, I'm going to connect the battery. Normally, in a permanent installation, you'd use O-ring battery, but uh, because we haven't got one, we've cobbled together this uh, crocodile clip arrangement. We've already plugged the computer and the monitor into the inverter charger. Connect the inverter charger up to the mains and switch on. Switch on the inverter charger. What it's doing at the moment is just drawing power from the mains and charging the battery. Switch on the computer. As I said before, the computer is being powered from the mains through the inverter charger. Now you can see the computer is quite happily booting there. The output of this inverter charger is pure sine wave, that means you can use it for anything, including things with power correction capacitors in them, such as fluorescent lighting, um, fast chargers, anything really, absolutely anything. So there we are, our computer's booted up, and then we have a power cut. And here's a power cut, and as you can see, switch the power off, take the plug out just to doubly prove it to you. Absolutely nothing's changed. So now the inverter charger is drawing power from the battery, keeping the computer going. And you might say, well, I've got a UPS on my computer that does this. What's so special about this? Well, the UPS is designed to allow you to shut down the computer, it gives you five, maybe ten minutes, save your work, shut it down and then sit there in the dark waiting for the power to come back on. This will allow you to carry on working. Depending on how many batteries you've got connected, it'll keep you going for absolutely ages. Also, this isn't just for use with computers. Frequently, you sell it to um, people who work in agriculture. So, imagine you have, I don't know, a chicken farm, and you've got an incubator. We had a customer who had this problem. Um, in the middle of nowhere, he has power go off every so often. And... Um, and lose a lot of money that way. This one, this system just switches automatically, keeps the incubator running. Also, uh, you don't have to use it on the mains, you can use it with a generator, which is also quite good for people in rural locations. So, you've got a generator going, generator packs up in the middle of the night or something. I mean, somebody doesn't have to get out of bed and try and fix it. The inverter charger will switch over to keeping whatever it is going until the morning. 
It's also very popular in third world countries. Uh, we sold a couple of these to Pakistan. A uh, few have ended up in, in Africa. And there's one, one gentleman who bought one for his mother in Pakistan and took it out and set it up. And he came back to us afterwards and told us that uh, she's the envy of the village where she lives because basically they have power cuts two or three times a week, sometimes more. And uh, when it happens at night, everybody goes around to her house to watch the telly because she's the only one that's got it going. Okay, so after a while, the power comes back on again. And the inverter charger goes back to charging the battery and the computer is being powered from the mains through the inverter charger. Simple. This particular version is, uh, has a maximum capacity of 600 watts. We also sell a 1000 watt, which is also very similar and a 1600 watt one which is slightly different in that it doesn't have any sockets on it um, it has to be sort of more or less wired in by a qualified electrician